Hi, this is Professor Sabil, and I'm re learning to control my GoPro. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, my name is Brandon Cadwell. I work with the National Park Service here on San Juan Island here in the state of Washington. We want to invite you to a unique public history experience, the Public History Field School on San Juan Island. Summer of 2020, nope, that's this summer. It got canceled uh, because of COVID. Summer, hopefully, of 2021. Uh, we're here in this beautiful campground on San Juan Island, and the Public History Field School will be a hands-on field experience for many of the things public historians do. We'll be working with the National Park Service. What are some of the things we'll do with you, Brandon? Uh, we're going to hook you up with some of our specialists that are cultural anthropologists and archaeologists and people who are public historians with their own field and talk about the types of different projects that we do in working with the public, whether it's personal programming that you might be doing in museums or public lands or writing site bulletins or creating wayside panels. There are a lot of opportunities around there. And then while students are out here, in addition to working with the National Park Service, we've coordinated working with a lot of local partners to be able to get an inside view of all levels of public history, whether it's local history museums, state parks and other land managers, uh, and also even going over to Victoria, uh, going to the Royal British Columbia Museum, uh, and amongst other institutions to really get a full in-depth view at what public history is. Absolutely. So we're going to explore this island. If you haven't been to the San Juans, it's it's pretty fabulous out here. It's one of the beauty spots, I think, in the entire country. So we'll be learning a lot here on San Juan Island from the different museums and cultural institutions. But there's also a ferry in between the islands. And at least a couple days of the field school, we'll get on that ferry. And we'll visit public history institutions on Orcas Island and Lopez Island, see what some of their needs are, and see what we can do to help them along. And so as part of this process, we want to make sure that this um, is not just a learning experience, but a doing experience. And so whether it's with us here at the National Park Service or one of our local partners, there will be some sort of central project for you to really uh, pitch your knowledge, skills, and abilities to further one of these public history and, and cultural institutions forward. And whether that's creating short videos or creating uh, wayside exhibits or an exhibit plan for a physical building, uh, we're really going to be able to put all that into practice in the weeks that you're out here. It'll feel like a vacation, but you will work. And let me show you where we'll stay. What is this place, Brandon? This is uh, an, an, an educational campground that we built a couple years ago. And what COVID is preventing you from seeing is that as you see these uh, platforms throughout the trees, we have these giant glamping style wall tents that are canvas they go on with a, with a you know front door pitched roof and all uh, for folks to stay in. They're, they're big enough that four people can comfortably stay in one. And then uh, with that, we've got cots to make it comfortable. And so you are you're about you're glamping for through a field school instead of roughing it in the back country uh, where you can return to have a fire here every night. And then, you know, you're not, you know, eating a bunch of PB&Js as we look off into the distance. Here, we actually have a commercial kitchen available to uh, educators and students and field school participants where they can cook the meals of their dreams um, mm -hmm. and stay as comfortable as possible. <laughs> Let's not set the bar too high on the meals it, here. <laughs> it's as high as they want to make it. <laughs> That's that. We'll take, we'll take turns cooking and uh, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make the best of it. Um, the commercial kitchen also has electricity, so it'll be a power strip for recharging your electronics that I know uh, many of us are so dependent upon, for better or worse. Um, there's also these very clean, modern uh, vault toilets. Uh, there's not a shower, but it's just two miles away at Roach Harbor is a coin-operated shower and a little grocery store and a wonderful restaurant. Uh, and then the other really great part about this is that being in a national park that's, a, that's primarily a historic site, just past this is a, a little road and trail down to English Camp where you're going to find formal gardens, historic buildings, and a network of trails that'll take you to a, a shellfish company where you can sit down, shuck your own shellfish, have them barbecued, and have a bottle of wine with it. Uh, it's, it's quite the place to be spending some time to learn. 21 and over only. <laughs> anyway, so that's a little hint of what the Public History Field School is going to be. Uh, by the time you see this video, I'll have a lot more information for it. I hope you'll join us. Please do.